Okie dokie. How are we on? <laughs> hey folks, welcome to uh, Monday night. Into the day, please <coughs> eat. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so we had a, re- a, a request, a request this week. Of, well, you had a request this week request. from one of your brothers. Yep. So I'll let you tell that story. So, what, the, we're doing Hanukkah? Oh my gosh, you're not a storyteller. No. So one of our brothers is Jewish. Uh, Perry Brothers is Jewish, and we always tease him like the brothers do. Uh, and one of the guys that is on the chat the text chain said that we ought to do a Hanukkah-based show, show. tonight because in, in honor of Hanukkah. We love your brothers. Yeah, we love, right. yeah, we love the guys. So. Um, so we decided, yes, we would. So, so hopefully they're going to start watching. <laughs> So I'm, I'm going to start this episode by saying we do not celebrate Hanukkah. So we no. um, picked a couple of recipes that we do, however, cook on a pretty regular basis in this house. Mm-hmm. Um, potato latkes and roast Cornish game hens, um, which are pretty common uh, dishes during the holiday season, mm-hmm. honestly, regardless. So Religion. Yeah. Um, but I did want to showcase this is not a vintage cookbook, and I've already... <laughs> Already spilt on it. Spilt on the page I'm on. Um, this is, however, one of my favorite cookbooks. And those of you who know me well enough know that I'm a, a history buff. Mm-hmm. And history isn't always pretty, but, um, well, rarely. So this is actually a 10th anniversary edition of Recipes Remembered, a celebration of survival. And it is family recipes from Holocaust survivors. And the stories from the survivors are in here alongside the recipes. And it is beautifully done, beautifully written, mm-hmm. um, incredible stories attached to really incredible recipes. So if you're a history buff, a food lover, a food history person, um, oh, well, then then pick this up. You can still buy the a new edition on Amazon. I'm trying to keep my page on Amazon. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, I actually put a, a hyperlink in the description on YouTube. So... <laughs> Check that out if you are at all interested um, from a food history perspective, but the recipes in and of themselves are well worth the the purchase. So this is at least in part what we'll be working out of tonight. Um, we're not sticking totally traditional because we are going to have a cocktail. They're kosher. They are. They're kosher. Um, One of them says so right square <laughs> on the bottle. I'll let you do that. However, the cocktail that, well, the main cocktail, we're going to taste test something here too, um, will pair really well with what we're cooking tonight. Mm-hmm. So even, you know, if you're not celebrating, this is still a, a really delicious meal to, yeah. to fix. So I'm going to get out of your way. Get out of my way. I need to get some ice in the shaker. Uh, and the onion has caused my nose to. Um, not yet, yeah. yeah. So if you're watching, let holler out. Tell us you're watching. Let, let us, us know. know. Let us know that you can hear us. Last week we had some technical difficulties with the issues. audio. So we're going to start off with some lemon vodka. This is New Amsterdam. It's a mid-shelf vodka vodka, folks. I mean, yeah, we like Tito's. Yeah, we like Svetka. Yeah, we like Stoli. Just get some vodka. Well, especially when you're, you've are you got a flavored vodka. Yeah, so you don't need to necessarily go high-end on this. No. But New Amsterdam, it's a good good baseline vodka. We have the lemon flavored vodka. So we got two ounces. And we're doubling this recipe up because we've got big glasses. <laughs> yeah, we do. And then we're going to go with some lemon cello. Which I love. And this is a half ounce of lemon cello. So we're doubling it up. It's a full ounce. Or more. Oh, she over pour a bit? Maybe a little over pour a bit. <laughs> That's okay. Mm. So freshly squeezed lemon juice. Right out of the freshly, you might want to shake it though. I can see. That. That's good. So yeah, let us know what you're having for dinner. Three quarters of an ounce of this lemon juice. So an ounce and a half. And we want half an ounce to three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. So we're going to go 
Yeah, it'll be a little bit over an ounce. I like my kind of sweet side. That's why I said a little bit over an ounce. Mm -hmm. Because I'm sour. Yeah, you are sour. <laughs> you need all the sweet Help you can, can get. get. <laughs> you do. So we're shaking this up. While we're shaking this up, we've got our glass. We're going to some water. So we're going to rim the glass for some sugar. Is this just going to get one? Oh, no. Oh, dear. This will probably get one. Oh, dear. Well, in case you have joined us late, you'll get to watch again. <laughs> hey, Robert. What are we? We are drinking um, lemon drops. Lemon drop martinis. Did we get a we got something here. seed in there? Oh, it's coming out. Uh, yep, we are drinking lemon drops. Um, rather large ones, apparently. <laughs> So you know, yeah, Morris, please. So Chili's gonna run through this one more time. We're going to get that one out of the way so people can still see you. Yeah, they're gonna be amazing. Can you tell? Look at yeah. the size of that one. It's rather large. But you're that is, however, the perfect. You're the one that grabbed those glasses. I, well, I did grab those glasses. Yep. I could have grabbed the little coupes, but. Yep. So two ounces times two, three quarters of an ounce. Actually, it's supposed to be half an ounce, but that's okay. Perfect size. Yes, Perfect I size. totally agree. Times two. This smell good too. The lemon's starting to hit. Three quarters an ounce. Yep. Lemon juice. Now we do not squeeze lemons a lot, but I am pretty loyal to the real lemon brand just because of the quality of the lemon juice. It tastes good. Shaky shake. Shaky shake. Gotta get my stuff out of the way. shake up more than you. Wow. Mm -hmm. I think the key is the lemon vodka and not the lemon vodka. Yeah. So there is a mm -hmm. kosher lemon drop. It's pretty much all of your vodkas, if you're putting you know, your regular vodkas, oh. they're all kosher. Some, something's making the onion got my nose. Mm -hmm. Svetka, Tito's, they're all kosher. All right. Are we doing the other one or are you going to wait? Oh, we'll wait. Let's do it. Okay. Come here. There's one in there. Let it go, dog. I'm gonna get an ice cube. Give me a second. I gotta get an ice cube. So we're gonna taste test something. Neither one of us has had this yet. And did you tell me it was rye? It is rye. Yeah, I just for a warning, I'm not a fan of, of rye. Oh, she's not a fan of cheap rye. And this is not okay. a cheap well, rye. Uh oh. You want your glass? Yeah, never glass. Here. The glass is on. I'm not going to try that again. Nope. How about. Uh, here. Look what a whiskey glass would have worked. 
There we go. And that's a whole ball. Yeah, as opposed to the half ball that we had last week because yeah. it popped out and broke. Yeah. So we've had a couple people join us. We've made lemon drops to start that are delicious. They are like lemon shake up. But drops. Chili eyeballed this at Westrose. I'll give Westrose mm-hmm. liquor a shout out here tonight on the shelf and said, we're going to buy this. And I said, okay. It is Buffalo Trace kosher, straight rye. Neither one of us mm-hmm. have had it. Mm-hmm. There we go. Wait, that was kind of a cool little bubble. I'm going to yeah. let you you go first. Me go first? You go first. Right. You're the bourbon guy. Which one's I just, yours? I don't know. Well, that one's yours. Okay. You drink that first and then the... Oh, you get sugar? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I had sugar was dropping. Oh, gotcha. You had to catch it. Okay. So, so we have a Buffalo Trace kosher rye. With a very large ice cube. Proper size. Proper size. You like? Yeah. Okay. I'm off camera. Yeah, so I can't see no. Oh, it smells good. Mm-hmm. It does. Hi, Stevie. Okay, that's not terrible. No, it's right. That's Buffalo Trace. I know, but I'm not. I'm not a rye fan. No. I said this already. I want you that's drink perfect it. for me to have so. Hey, Stevie. Let's see. There is my mom. Yeah. Oh goodness. So oh, there we go. Oh, so they've started the side conversation now. So. <laughs> so who else is out there? I have a mother and two cousins. Okay. That's so far. So we've got. One lemon drop martini, one kosher Ooh. rye, and now we're going to cook. So where do you want to be? Um, prep area. Okay. So I am going to turn on my hey, air Paul. fryer. Who? Early. Hey, Early. What's going on, buddy? So, Paul, which would you drink? The, uh, the rye or the lemon drop martini? <laughs> Probably not even a question for her. Really. You drink the bush <laughs> Poor guy. Oh my gosh. I agree, Jim. The, the lemon drop is, that is absolutely delicious. Is Jen on? Probably neither. Yeah, Jen's on. Okay. Later this week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just telling you, later this week. Okay. So I have two Cornish game hens, and Cornish game hens are technically a chicken. They're just little guys, or, well, girls, um, as in young. These are, if they're a pound, let's see. Yeah, no, they're, they're packaged as a pound, but they could, you know, be up or down a little bit. Um, also, he's starting to enjoy an old-fashioned soup. I agree with you. That's that's. My go-to bourbon cocktail is old yeah, fashioned. Fashion. I will say this: if you want to go cheap and easy and quick, oh yeah, this stuff like right a, here, it's pretty good. Stirring's old-fashioned mix. It's not bad. I'll give them a shout out. It's not a bad old-fashioned mix. And all you got to do is pour that in and add bourbon. All right. So these guys are little. Do you want me to smash cock them? Oh, you guys decide. Ask them. Do you want me to smash cock them? Do we want, oh, blackberry brandy? Yeah. Um, oh, that sounds good too. We've got some of that somewhere. Yeah. Um, do you guys want it smash cock? I mean, I'll show you how to smash cock them, but if I do want to have to do both. First person that says yes or no. Got nothing, huh? Smash cock. All right. All right. Jen says smash cock. Okay. I figured she would. Your mom says it cooks faster. Well, these things aren't going to take long to cook anyway. So. <laughs> these are, actually, I'm going to take my watch off so I don't get chicken guts all of them. Um, these are not big guys to begin with, so they're not going to take long. So if I spatchcock it in my air fryer at 375, I'm going to start it out at about 20 minutes and check from there. Um, so to spatchcock, we're going to butterfly our little chicken pan. And you need to be cutting down the backbone on these little guys. Now, they're not big. There's not a lot of meat here. <laughs> I probably should have gotten three. Usually the kid and I split one, but these are small guys. Um, if you can't figure out on a small chicken that's not got much meat where the 
the butt and the boobs are stand it upright so you can see how it's shaped and you'll be able to see where the breast is and where its tailbone is right here no comments from peanut gallery you want that's the back side that looks like the breast right here that's the tail that's the okay. tailbone yes when you stand it up and you let it walk its breasts are right here and its head was right here once really yes <laughs> do you want me to prove it to you <laughs> nope i believe you now okay so tailbone we're going to cut up each side it won't take much on these little guys i say that oh we have subtitles when we say spatchcock oh i'm sure we do i i have cousins that give me I, paul you're probably right if Bo was watching he would definitely tell you that he likes spatchcock <laughs> he's supposed to be watching he will all right there's one already that was fast <laughs> it doesn't take much Teeny tinies all right tailbone it's got a little fat flap right here we're gonna cut off don't rinse these by the way under your sink you'll get chicken guts everywhere um this one's tailbone is actually cut off but its little neck is right here so if you can't find one you'll probably find the other a good pair of kitchen shears is all you need a good pair of kitchen shears will do this on a turkey, so you don't need to invest in anything major. Bo says that we ruined the oyster. A, I don't think this one even freaking had an oyster. Yeah, <laughs> I think probably not. It was like gone. Yeah, too small. These are so tiny. I like her. Okay. Removing this. Save the backbone for Paul, he says. Okay, I'll do that. The neck is what you want. You want the neck bone, Paul. Um. All right, I have one chicken hand and one knot, so these what seasonings. What seasonings? What do you want? I don't know. What would that? Well, I was going to do citrus, but I forgot to find it. So, uh -oh. all right, so here's what they look like. This one's all mm -hmm. kind of floppy. Like this mm -hmm. one's legs are already disconnect there. disconnected. But this is what you want. These are not big enough to, you know, sunbathe with their hands, their hands, their wings up. I need some big towels though. I'll use this. We're gonna go simple. Start salt, pepper, garlic. That's PG. Thank you. You want them pretty dry. If I had time, I'd let them sit for about 15, 20 minutes, but that's okay. We'll survive. Getting more kosher rye. Uh, I have chicken hands. I don't well, need anything. <laughs> calm those chicken hands down. Here, I'll do that. Oh, just... mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. We are heavy handed, baby. Um, so sprinkle high and even when you're doing this. You kind of see, let me move this so they can see better. Um, I'm actually going to have to hit go. on some front row. That'd be good. A little extra garlic in that. You don't have it. Bang that sucker on the cabinet. It shook up. <clears throat> um, so season Some of the with whatever. Of this rub is bigger than the chickens. Then bigger than the, that's true. Yeah. Bigger than the. There we go. The hens. All right. We're gonna. Sh do on the underside too because that's where part of your meat is. Yeah. You want to make sure you get in all the nooks and crannies. <laughs> yes, Jen. What I do? She says, "Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime girl." <laughs> <laughs> all right. Did you finish the rye? No, we didn't. Yeah, you, you drink, because I'm not going to drink much of it. Okay. All right, these are yeah. going in the air fryer. We're going to start them in 20 minutes. These are about a pound a piece. She's back that way. I don't know if you guys can still hear her. And we're just oh, gonna, you hear the sizzle? Yeah, nestle them in here. One on top of the other, or, I mean, flat against each other. Mm -hmm. I've got one of them spread eagle. 
Hey. That's, that's really good. All right, we're going to start over 20 minutes. And then we're going to move on. Let me wash my hands. Oh, because, you know, chicken. The kosher rice, really good. I just got done saying that. Good. I set yeah. it down and, the, and that's really good. It is good. It is good. It's not as good as the lemon drop martinis that we made because they are like lemon shake up martinis. Yeah, Super sweet. Really They're delicious. But it is, uh, you know, two different flavor profiles. One very sweet and one not. tasty and one, you know, bourbon for a dry bourbon. Let me say it's out of the way. Now, I have... Oh, good sound, good deal. Yay! So we got the Cornish the hens in. Yep, mic sound good, they say. Mm -hmm. Cornish hens are in for 20 minutes. To start, we'll check them. Yeah, we'll check. All right. We are definitely going to have some more of this ride. Well, That's and put, stuff. put me so they can see what I'm doing before you start, before you get too drunk on the air tonight. All right. It. So in here, I have four medium-sized russet potatoes, half of a large onion, that I shredded together. That way everything's kind of all mixed up. Um, this browning, totally natural, because we I let them sit here for about 10 minutes. Um, not going to impact the flavor or even what these look like, the potato latkes. Tea towel or potato sack towel. Um, don't use a terry cloth towel. You'll get Nasty yeah stuff. stuff all over your potatoes. Um, you want to squeeze as much of the moisture out as possible. It's okay if there's a little bit, but this takes a little bit of elbow grease. And then I did most of it earlier because I wanted the starch to separate. Basically what you're doing is removing the starch. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit. And I'm gonna get another bowl. Turn the stove on. Uh, yeah, go ahead. High, medium. Um, medium for now. To this, Man, I can smell the pepper. I'm going to add to my mixing bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and add my. I'm gonna start with three eggs. If I need a fourth one, I'll add it. You want just enough eggs to keep everything together. Use my shelf at least here. So Matt, have you had the uh, kosher rye or no? Start with three. I gotta wash my hands off. Well, then I've got three of the guys watching this. Oh, oh, he has had it. Okay. How did you like it? What did you think of it? It's, it's a little less dry than what I expected it to be. I mean, it's, it's got yeah, some it's good, not as spicy. It's got some good spice notes to it, but it's not as spicy as uh, some of the rice we've had. Are you in agreement with that? or? Imagine my surprise when I went to the liquor store. And right there, it's like it was fate. It was fate. That's why I am happy. He said he agrees. Trying to get all of the. All right. This can go over here. All right. We're going to do a little salt, a little pepper. Uh, we're going to do black pepper. Any starch? Do the starch? Jen's wanting to know. Um, well, I will be honest with you. I was hoping that the starch would separate from the liquid and it has not yet. So we're going to, we're going to see. Okay. So the trick is for you to let the liquid. Paul wants to know what the potato mixture is going to be. Those are going to be the latkes. The latkes. Latkes. Um, if you let the, what you wring out sit long enough, the starch will separate from the liquid. Pour the liquid off. You've got potato starch. We don't have that kind of time. Probably going to throw some corn starch in here though. Um, just for that same reason, what Jen's thinking. She's in my head again. Uh oh. <laughs> Latkes. The title of the episode, Paul. Potato fritters. We'll call them that. Oh yeah. Those baby chicks are tasty little chickens. They're in the they're in the air fryer. Um, we've got 15 more minutes left to go. So the starch will actually make a crispier. Latkes. Yes. That's what I like. Crispy. Yes, we want crispy. I, say, I don't know. Maybe shy of the tablespoon in there. 
Of cornstarch? Of cornstarch because we don't have enough time for the potato starch to separate. I don't know. Okay. I smell a whole lot of pepper. Mm, I put a whole lot of pepper in. Mm -hmm. So here's the delicious. Here's the fun part. Um, I've never made these with matzo meal before. I usually use breadcrumbs. AKA yeah. potato pancakes. Yes, yeah. Matt. Yes, Matt. <laughs> I know, but you know. Hey, come on now. We eat them a lot, actually. Yeah. So I had to um, resort to matzo ball soup mix, which is because I couldn't find the matzo meal anywhere, which I thought was odd in this town. Well, we don't live in a, a major metropolitan area. No, but we certainly have a, a Jewish um, community here. So I was like, what the hell? So roughly half a cup. I think that's about what I have in here. Um, this is matzo meal just with some extra spices. I think it's dill and parsley to kind of cheat your way through. Yeah, perfectly half a cup. So we're going to start with that. If you don't have, don't want, can't find, um, the panko bread crumbs are fine. All right. I need, I'm just use this. I'm also going to put You're gonna have to put that over there so the people can see what you're doing over there. I will. I'm going to. Give me the stuff that needs to get out of the way. Like this. Mm -hmm. This needs to get out of the way. This needs Pardon to... me for a commercial break. All right. Oh, hello. Oh, you had an extra. I'm broke egg in there. Oh, no. I, that fourth egg was. <laughs> Uh, and in case A. I got it. Okay. I caught it. I saved it. Thank you. So we're going to, uh-oh, we have a this onion that didn't make it. Give it a toss. All right. So for decent size, I mean medium size, um, shredded, potatoes shredded up with half of a pretty large onion, um, three eggs, which is going to be plenty, and in fact, that's kind of wet. So. Um, would you get me this the other, other? Yeah. Yeah, the other. That's too wet. So we're going to add some more of the. Oh, we do. It is. We do have manish wavets. Matzo ball mix manish wavets. Working on it. Manish wavets. Manish wavets. W's or B's and anything other than English. I can tell. Pop that in there, baby. All it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm going to throw this away. Go for it. When I don't have this salt in here. Well, I know where we did some. Right behind you. Why don't you choose this? Because I've already got pepper. I don't really want the garlic. Okay. Salt. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. Oh. Jennifer says, thank you for correcting that. <laughs> Jennifer, you're not mad. You don't, you don't get to <laughs> correct my Yiddish or lack thereof. Dude, Yiddish, German, Austria, I mean, all of it. Okay. All right. We're going to make. How big do you want your fritters? Actually, I'm not going to send them out there. Plate size. No. Can't do plate size. Okay. These are still okay. pretty wet. Yeah. So we're going to try one, but they're still kind of wet. I'm going to test fry. As best as hands. Yes, I know. I'd probably yeah. fry up okay, but they're still kind of wet. Huh. Well, that camera is all so blown out. I don't know. We always have that problem over the stove. We might just have to invest in another one. Another El Paso. So, so while that test fry is going, let's talk about what top these with. So applesauce is pretty um, common, uh, traditional, let's say. Yep. That's usually what I use. Um, sour cream is traditional. I've done pepper jelly or some other kind of jelly, but definitely a pepper jelly, which we have plenty of here. Um, I'm trying to think what else I have talked with in my lifetime. That's probably about it, to be honest. Yeah, drink up buttercup. Drink up buttercup. So we can do a combination of toppings if you want. Mm -hmm. I'll let, I'm going to let you guys decide what you want us to top them with. Yeah. We've got a few coming out, so. Um, I actually need in here. I'm sorry. I'll stay out of the way. Oh, man. 
They'll fry for, I don't know, a couple minutes, three per side. Yeah, that one did okay. So the potato batter is slightly on the wet side, but it's frying up okay, so we're going to stick with it. I'm going to get this one out, and then I'll get a couple more in. Um, you want a decently deep fry pan. This is about a two-inch, maybe eh, two-and-a-half-inch deep. Um, don't try to do these on a skillet. You're going to have oil everywhere. Don't try to deep fry them because you need flat surface. So a nice chicken fryer pan is perfect. Um, straight high size is better just from a frying perspective. Neutral oil, lard would be delicious um, or some combination thereof. Don't use, um, I would not use full fat butter just because it tends to kind of meh and would not definitely would not use olive oil for high heat because it will start to smoke on you i'm going to turn this up just a little bit fry an egg. i can fry an egg mm. happily fry an egg all right Yeah, these are like super wet, but they're gonna be super, super soft on the inside. Mm -hmm. If they're too wet to hold together, more breadcrumbs is what you want. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, maybe I'm gonna put one more in here, but those are like. <laughs> I'm dealing with hot oil, dude, and my fingers are really freaking close to it. Not my issue. <laughs> it might be. So, been a day, folks. Well, it certainly has. If you missed the cookbook, it's going to hold it up for you again. There you go. While we finish one walk, uh, Recipes remembered. A celebration of survival. All of these recipes are from Holocaust survivors. And it's an incredible book. It's an incredible book. It has had stories along with recipes. So it is an amazing book. This is the 10th anniversary edition by June Fesh Price Hirsch. I'm going to spray these with a little oil to get them crispy. It's a wonderful book. Where do you want the book? Over there. Well, I'll have the toaster's fine. So it's kind of out of the, out of the, out of the way. All right, we got one. Is Friedman still on? Friedman, if you're still on. He is. He wants me to flash that up again. Okay. Um, you can get it on Amazon. Uh, if you look at the YouTube. Like, like the new copy. There's a hyperlink on the YouTube. Hold on. Yeah, if you hit the YouTube uh, show in the description, there's a hyperlink. But Amazon, for sure, you can get a new copy. It is, it's well worth it. <clears throat> All right, so I'm out of the kosher arena because I just added panko to these. So I've got some of this extra. Anyway, I was going to ask Friedman if you guys do yours kind of fat and soft in the middle. That's how I like them. Or if they're really thin like and like crispy all the way through. Yeah. Soft I like, and you fat know. in the middle. Soft in the middle. Uh -huh, I see that. I heard. I like mine soft in the middle. A little bit more of a mashed potato feel. Yeah. But I've seen them like super thin and crispy too. I'm trying to get a little edge on them, but there we go. Um, Mrs. Friedman likes the thickness as well. Oh, I bet Mrs. Friedman does. God love yes. her. God love her for liking the thickness. God love her for loving Friedman, too. Yeah. She is an amazing gal. <laughs> she is. Very talented, also. Mm -hmm. 
especially when she puts together a charcuterie board. Oh, Holy yeah. Moses, that girl oh, can do that. God. Did you fill me up? Who, me? I didn't fill you up or fill you up? Either one. Yes, I did. Okay. I did. I wondered. Hmm? It's like it suddenly. I had to cool yours off. It, had, it kind of would warm oh, up. Was, mine was too warm. Oh, these look pretty good. Not quite there. We're almost there. What happened to the oyster? Thornton wants to know what happened to the oyster. I ate them. She ate them, Thornton. I've got one that's pretty well done. Really? Already? Yeah. It hasn't even been 20 minutes yet, has it? Well, uh, it's, it's breastbone's close to the top. Uh-oh. Pull it out of here. She spatchcocked it and kind of just ripped the oyster out. But it's a Cornish hen. So. And the oyster wasn't very big. Yeah, these are tiny oysters. Let this one finish. That one's not quite done. So here's one. You want to show her? Maybe that's not one the best. One. There you go. Here's one guy. One him? Yeah. Girl. And one latka. And one latka. She cut it out with scissors. I did. I'm sorry. All right. We're going to let this sit. We're going to flip this one. Oh, no. We're not going to flip that one. Somehow got off the heat. Oh, says we need more stuff on our counters. Oh, Jesus. We do. <laughs> I would show you the bird, but I'm not going to yeah. do that live on TV. That's all booze. Damn near, mm -hmm. Dave. So, all that over there is. I mean, here, I mean, what I really need is a bigger kitchen so the counters don't look so cluttered. One, two, three, four bottles of rum, five, uh, one bottle of gin. One, two, three, four, five, six bottles of bourbon, a bottle of vodka, two bottles of vodka. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Bottle of scotch. Oh, another bottle of vodka, bourbon. Hey, what can you expect? From a soap pie, for and sure. a bottle of limoncello. 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 Limoncello chili. <laughs> Having all sorts of issues tonight, aren't you? All right, here's a couple more. So they're taking juice, about three lemonade. minutes aside here. Um, I'm honestly just eyeballing a handful of potato. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted to make them, you know, perfect, use a cookie scoop. But And I'm kind of flattening them down when I put them in here. I'll probably have enough for two more after these. We're getting there. Once these cool down, we can cut them too. There we go. All right, folks. Applesauce, jelly, sour cream, all of the above. I did not get a chance to make applesauce from scratch. <laughs> what are we putting on them? Good question. Uh, oh, Jim says they're fried eggs. Remember that. Oh, so. yeah. We'll find that She's egg. the only one that said anything at all. Oh. Fried egg would be good with pepper jelly, too. Uh, would you go up and get me three, two of those Fiesta or plates on the white built in? Thank you. All right. I'm going to check my other pen and see how we're doing here. Yeah, we're done. So we are just shy of the 20 minute mark here. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to let everything come flying out of the cabinet at me. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. We have the yellow. Oh, man. All right. We're done there. They are delicious. We're done here. Mm -hmm. I have this one. I have this one. This way. <laughs> no comments from the peanut gallery on how I have them positioned. There's our pins. 
I'm kind of like I am with tacos with these guys. Like the more I cook, the bigger they get. <laughs> that one. We're at like 40 minutes. Well, we're doing good. Uh, we're awesome. I'll stick it. Well, actually, I'm not. I'm gonna I'm gonna fry an egg in a separate pan, actually. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Kelly. You want to fry an egg on yours? No. Okay. I want to fry one. Yeah, fry one egg. Okay. One egg coming up. Thank you for letting us know. That's pretty good. I appreciate that. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Kelly said that the uh, cornichons were pretty. Oh, thank you. One fried egg coming right up. Nope, not that one. Not gonna work. A little bacon grease. Hope you're doing well and having an, enjoy an enjoyable holiday season. She says, hey, guys. Oh, who? Kelly? Kelly, yeah. Hey. Long time no talk. Yeah. Good to see you on here. All right. So at Jen's request, one fried egg coming what, up pretty shortly. A little bit of bacon, bacon grease. A little bit of bacon grease. Bit of bacon grease. Well, I didn't show that, so I'll have it over there. A little bit of bacon grease in the side pan. Butter, oil, whatever you want to use, but yeah. We use bacon grease. We I do. All right, there's a toasty one. Oh, those look so delicious. Oh, that one might break. Any potato latkes? Potato yeah. pancakes. Yeah. There. We've yeah. done them before for you guys, but yeah. it's been a while. All right. In honor of Hanukkah, it's an easy one to do. I'm going to make these other ones a little bit smaller because they'll fry faster. We have more? Uh, there's one more. Thanks, Kelly. We try. Some days, some evenings, it kind of wears on us. Um, what do you want on yours? Sour cream and salsa? I want jelly? sour cream and okay. some, some spicy jelly. Those are my Well, I have plain old hot pepper. Sweet, sweet hot pepper. And I've That's got, what I want sweet okay. hot pepper. And what do you say? What do I need? Well, if I have sour cream, I'll do it. No, there's probably some downstairs. All right. I'll have to go down search. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let me look. Hold. Okay. Hold, please. Because I'm kind of piled up in here at some point. <laughs> Which, uh, from the holidays. Uh, no, but I, I'm pretty sure there's some dusters. Yeah, there's probably some dusters. So, Kelly, did you catch the cocktails tonight? We've had a kosher buffalo tray straight rye whiskey bourbon. Ooh, that one's done. In honor of Hanukkah, and we're we are making lemon drop martinis because vodka is a kosher cocktail. Also, very done. Hello. Well, one of those has crispy edges. Grandma, everybody prefers caviar on their. I don't even think I can buy caviar locally. Salmon caviar is what she prefers. I mean, I get that. Yeah. But I, I have not seen it locally. Even at International Foods, I've not seen it. Man, these are like super wet. But oh well. That's okay. We'll dry them out in the fry. Right, yeah. Make some puffy and salt and smushy in the mouth. And that, just like we you. have established this evening, what I like. That's right. Darn it. Okay. It is. Ain't going down. Crack on the counter, not the edge of the pan. I know, but I can still say it. Yeah. Shit. Uh oh. I didn't swear first. Shoot. I didn't. We're gonna have to Broke write this one down and all the annals of history. Broke the yolk. I didn't swear first. Let's do it again. Yep. <laughs> Two eggs, by golly. Oh, there we go. You heard that, Jen, didn't you? Mm. No, it doesn't happen very often at all. That's why I had to call attention to it. Oh, wow. I don't have a lid for that pan, so. That, that lid works. We're going to do that. Woo! 
two down. All my, right. My dolphins are getting ready to start playing here very shortly, so oh, I'm going to have to wrap this up. All right, hand me a plate. I'll get you a chicken and a walk after too. All right. All right. Chicken. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Oh, that one. Yes, please. Oh, that looks. Bop, bop. Oh. Um, this. Yes. I agree, Grandma. I uh, totally agree. Your mom says the church ladies heard your potty mouth. Um, I mean, haha. All right. Hey, there you go. it wasn't me this time. Totally was not me. All right, I think we're good. All right. We're good. All right. So you've seen you us see make, not because you've seen us make Cornish game hens. You've seen us make yeah. <laughs> fried eggs. Fried eggs, lemon drop martinis. You've seen us pour some rye. I think we're getting ready to be eating very yeah. shortly. I'm going to chop an egg and cut into one of these on air yeah. real fast, and um, then I'll eat. I'm going to move some things out of the way, please. What? what? I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Man, I'm out of room. Well, it, was a, it was a full cornucopia of cooking. Okay. One egg I'm going <laughs> to just hang out and keep. One Friday. One sunny side. side. Up. One warm. You want to throw those over there to where they can see them or not? I will, yeah. yeah. No, I'm not going to tell you that eventually. It hasn't started yet. It, okay, it hasn't there you go. Yet. Here's one with hot pepper jelly and Cornish game hen. It is a little low green, but that's okay. Oops, sorry. I don't need any green at all. There's a green Here's mine with right Friday. There. <laughs> there's, there's the green. <laughs> One fried egg on that latte. I like them with applesauce. Like them with, I like them, period. I really yeah. don't care what they. Um, pork. Oh, yes, please. Pork. Thank you. Oh. Ooh, a little warm. Yeah, it's, it gets the hot in here. I like to cook. Imagine that. Right. The beauty of the fried egg is that right there. These are one of my favorite foods in the whole world. <laughs> I agree, Robert. Mm. Mm, that's right. Mm. It's so good. Mm. 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 That's delicious. Robert says, I didn't swear. And he hasn't made an inappropriate comment yet. Records yeah. are being made. Call the Guinness Book. Right. World record. Hey, you know. Okay. Like, this is a good breakfast. Like, I'm going to have this tomorrow. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Um, I'm going to have this tonight. All right. So, that recipe, I ended up with six, seven, eight latkes, mm -hmm. large ones. So, if you want the smaller ones, of course, you get more. Yeah. Um, game hens took right, 11 to 20 minutes. We had two corn shins. Mm hmm. Um, I couldn't have fit a third one in my air fryer. Air fryer is the way to go for these little guys, like 20 minutes, literally, on 375 of the hey, air Hey, Jill. Hey, Miss Jill. She loves saying the word spatchcock, too. Mm-hmm. That's a good word. It is. I'm warm. Can you tell? I can, I can see you glistening over I'm there. <laughs> You're blonde and glistening. <laughs> the blonde red is glistening. <laughs> the blonde red is glistening. Yeah. Goodness. We're going to take care of the gray hair this week, too, so you'll oh, have you more really? blonde red and glistening, yes. Oh. Um... Yeah, this is delicious any time of year, but yeah. definitely during the holidays. So, and you know, even if you're not Jewish, you can celebrate Hanukkah too. You can celebrate whatever you want to celebrate, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. And in, in um, today's world of war, and okay, hush, we're not going there. It's a good time to celebrate Hanukkah we're for gonna everyone. Mm -hmm. No politics on the show. Hey, I'm not politicking. That's delicious. Um, I don't even know what else to say. Mm -hmm. Lemon drops, perfect because mm -hmm. it kind of cuts through the richness of everything. Oh, this is so good. 
and the pepper jelly, applesauce, sour cream does the same thing for um, the latkes, or AKA potato pancakes, which is what we call them in our house because that's our house. Yeah. So cheers to Monday night. Yeah. Something has caused my nose to run. I have no idea what. Onion. Don't care, probably the name. Onion or pepper or two. We're going to go grab a kid, eat some dinner. He's going to watch football. That's right. I'm going to play in next week because we're celebrating on our last show of the year. The other holiday? Santa Claus. Christmas? Yeah. Well, Santa Claus. Whee! Um, but you'll just have to tune in right now. And then we will give you a hint as to what we're doing in 2024. Yeah. Because it's going to be cool. Yes. Totally cool. It's Completely cool. cool. So. I don't even know yet. Maybe I do. You know. I know. You totally know. I know. All right, folks. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hopefully the audio was better with the cheap seat microphones. Yeah. But it's going to work for a while. Um, we'll see you guys next week. We're going to go enjoy our dinner. Yeah. We hope you guys do too. So, and bye. Have a Merry Christmas. If we don't see you next week. Well, and Happy Hanukkah. Yeah. <laughs> happy Hanukkah. Have a Merry or Christmas. Or whatever it is that you're celebrating. Have a year. If anything. And enjoy yourselves. Absolutely. We'll see you next week. I'm going to go blow my nose, though. <laughs> <laughs> see you, everybody. Bye, guys.